Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. So we are starting from uh, ayah number 195, uh, Surah Ali Imran. Uh, last time we uh, completed till ayah 194. So inshallah we are starting. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihi wa kareem amma baad. فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربي شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وأهل الأرض تم لساني يفقه قولي الحمد لله الحي القيوم الذي قامت بأمره وأدله السماوات والأرض وهو على كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وهدو لا شريك له في ربوبيته وألوهيته وأسمائه وصفاته ليس كمثله شيء وهو السميع البصير All praise be to Allah, the ever living, the ever sustaining by his command and justice. The heavens and the earth have been established and he is over all things powerful. There is no deity except Allah alone. There is no partner in his lordship, divinity and names and attributes. Nothing is like him, and he is the all hearing, the all saying, Sure, Ya Rabbi. Okay, and this is Juice 4. Everybody knows Lantan Al Bira, which, which we are going to end now, inshallah. A few ayahs left. Mama Tawfiqi Illa Billa, Ali Imran, Revealed in Madina, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, last time we did the duas of the people of intellect, of the people of understanding. Rabbana inna na samina munadiya yunadi lil iman an aminu bi rabbikum fa amanna rabbana faqfil lana dhunubana wa kafir anna sayyatina wa tawaffana ma'al abrar. So we did the duas and characteristics and their talks and their supplications, the people of intellect, the people of understanding. So this was one of the dua 193, our Lord. Verily, we have heard the call of one calling to faith. And who was calling? Prophet Sallallahu was calling to the, the people to the faith. So we believe in your Lord and we believe in your Lord and we have believed. Our Lord, forgive us our sins and expiate from us our evil deeds and make us die along with Al-Abrar, the most righteous. And we did the tafsir also of this and we did 194 also last time. This is also a dua of the people of understanding. Our Lord, Rabbana wa atina ma wa atana ala rusulika wa la tukhzina yawm al-qiyamati innaka la tukhlif al Our Lord, grant us what you have promised us through your messengers and disgrace us not on the day of resurrection for you never break your promise. So this was also the dua and we did the tafsir also. So now we'll start from uh, ayah number, uh, inshallah, 195. Only a few ayahs to go, then we'll complete Surah Tulare Imran, inshallah. First, the Jaba, what to what translation? Ayah number 195, starting our lesson today. First, so, the Jaba, he responded positively, Lahum. Love for whom them, lahum for them, rub whom, rub, rub whom their, rub whom their rub, their sustainer, inni, indeed, la, do not, inni, inni, indeed, I, la, do not, udi, u, allow to be wasted, lost, amala, work, deed, amilin, of one who works, a worker, min kum, Min from among kum you all min kum from among you all min from the karin a female au or untha a male 
Badukum, some of you all, min are from Badin, some of others, Falladina, for so Alladina, Alladina is the plural of Alladi, Alladina, those who Falladina, so those who Hajaru, they did Hijra, migrated, Wa Ukhriju, were and Ukhriju, they were expelled, driven out, min from Diarim. Diyar is the plural of Dar, Diari, homes, dwellings, him, their, Diari, him, their homes, dwellings. Wa Uzu, wa and Uzu, they were hurt, made to suffer, fi in Sabili, Sabil, way, path, cause, li, my, Sabili, my way, path, cause. Wakatalu were and Katalu they fought were and Kutilu they were killed La Ukafiranna La surely Ukafiranna I will definitely expiate limit remove cover La Ukafiranna surely I will definitely expiate remit remove cover Anhum An from whom them and whom from them sayyatihim sayyat is the plural of sayyatun uh, sayyat these sins evils him there him is pronoun sayyatihim there these their sins evils wala udkhilan nahum wa and la surely Udkhilanna, I shall definitely admit. So the noon, the shad on the noon, the tajdid on the noon says definitely, okay? It means definitely. Uh, whom, them, whom is a pronoun. La udkhilanna, whom, surely I shall definitely admit them. Jannatin, gardens, paradise. Jannatin is the plural of jannatun. Tajri, it, she runs, flows, min, from, tahtiha, tahat is underneath, ha, it, and the opposite of tahat is fok, okay, fok, fok is up and tahat is down, Ta tahtiha, underneath, it, her, al, anharu, the rivers, uh, na, anharu is the plural of nahar, sawaban, a reward min from in the near with Allahi Allah were and Allahu Allah in the who in the near with who him in the who near with him husnu is best a sawab of the reward. So we'll do the running translation inshallah. فَاسْتَجَابَ لَهُمْ رَبُّهُمْ إِنِّي لَا أُدِيُّ عَمَلَ عَامِلٍ So their Rabb answers their prayers, saying, I will not let the good deed of any worker among you, whether a male or a female, be wasted. You are the offsprings of one another, those who had to leave their homes or were expelled therefrom, and those who suffered persecution for my sake and fought and were killed, I will forgive them their sins and admit them into gardens beneath which the rivers flow a prize from Allah and Allah holds the finest prize. So we see this ayah now, inshallah. Okay. Ayah number 195, inshallah. So uh, Allah accepts the supplication of the man of understanding. In the previous ayahs, last session, we learned the uh, uh, characteristics and the talk and the supplication of the people of intellect, the ulul albab of the people of understanding. So they made dua. So we uh, uh, learned the duas also uh, last time. So now what happened when they made dua, when the people of understanding supplicated Allah, Allah accepts the supplication of men of understanding. So in this ayah, Allah says, 
فستجابلهم ربهم سو دے لارڈ ایکسپٹڈ آف دیم آنسر دے انوکیشن سو وی شوڈ آلویز میک دعا بیکاز اللہ آنسر دا انوکیشن سعید بن منصور ریکارڈڈ اس از ا حدیث دا سلاما دا سلاما ا مین فرام دا فیملی اف ام سلاما سیڈ ام سلاما واز دا وائف اف پروفیسر صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم رائٹ پروفیسر صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ہیز Uh, had nine wife or in some other riwaya we see it, we it said it is said 12 wives so umm salama was also the wife of professor sam so umm salama said o oh, messenger of allah allah does not mention women in connection with hijra uh, everybody knows that uh, professor sam by the command of allah subhanahu wa taala migrated to madina from makka because there was physical persecution the professor sam and the companions of the professor sam the believers they were not allowed to uh, pray uh, five obligatory prayers in uh, khana kaaba in the in the house of allah subhanahu wa taala and there was free physical persecution also uh, the operation was a lot from the people of makka from the quraish so and they were not freely you know able to worship and follow the deen so by the command of allah subhanahu wa taala uh, they migrated to madina from makka so umm salwa salma was also the first lady uh, who migrated with them so umm salma says o oh, messenger of allah allah does not mention women in connection with hijra migration so allah sent down the ayah first tajaba lahum rabbuhum inni la udiu amala amilin minkum min dhakara aw unsa so the lord accepted of them their supplication and answered them never will i allow to be lost the work of any of you be he male or female so allah uh, never waste never lost the work of any of uh, us whether we are male or female okay allah always you know uh, reward male or female whatever the deeds are okay dansa say that umm salma was the first woman to migrate to with them from makkah to madina and this is uh, this hadith in is in mustadrak okay and then we see the ansa say that umm salma was the first woman migrated to madina this is in sahi bukhari sahi muslim and then afarda allah says inni la udiu am in our aya which this is our lesson inni la udiu amala amilin minkum min zakarin aw unsa never will i allow to be lost the work of any of you be he male or female all are equal to allah subhanahu wa taala whatever deeds we get, uh, we do we'll get the reward accordingly okay the punishment or the reward if the deeds are good the reward is there if the deeds are bad the punishment is there okay then further allah says ba'dukum mim ba'd you are members of one another then allah subhanahu wa taala says in the aya we see allah says um, I, okay then you are uh, what allah said that ba'dukum uh, mim ba'd you are members of one another means you are all equal in relation to me to to gaining my reward okay therefore allah says fal ladina hajaru those who immigrated meaning people from makkah migrated from makkah to madina the muslims right but what they did by leaving the land of shirk they left the land of shirk because makkah there were 360 idols were there and in the house of god khana kaaba uh, baitullah Sh- baitullah 360 idols were kept and they used to worship uh, 360 idols and they shirk means to associate partners with allah subhanahu wa taala so and they were not allowed to worship the, uh, the five obligatory prayers or any prayers in the baitullah in khana kaaba so by the command of allah they left the land of shirk and uh, makka and migrated to the land of faith the land of faith was madina um, al munawwara leaving behind their loved ones brethren friends and neighbors why they left their loved ones the brethren friends and neighbors because they didn't embrace islam they didn't accept it islam they were the unbelievers non believers ukh wa ukhriju min diyarihim see the aya is in front of you wa ukhriju min diyarihim and were driven out from their homes when the mushriks tormented them and forced them to migrate because there was lot of you know the operation over them wa uzu fi sabili and these muslims who accept islam suffered harm in my cause allah says 
the mushriks tormented them and forced them to migrate to Medina and uh, Sabili and suffered harm in my cause. What was their fault? Only because they accepted Islam. They believe in Allah. So the people of Makkah were very harsh with them. For their only wrong to, to the people was that they believe in Allah alone. Okay. Then Allah says, uh, uh, in Simila Ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Simila Ayah, uh, chapter 6, Ayah 1, and have, uh, and have driven out the messenger and yourself because you believe in Allah, your Lord. This is from Surah Al-Buruj, Ayah 8. And they had no fault. This Muslim, these Muslims, these believers had no fault except that they believed in all, Allah, the Almighty, worthy of all praise. Which is why they were so rude, they were so harsh, they, there was physical persecution for the believers. Then Allah says, وَقَاتِلُوا uh, uh, and who fought and were killed in my cause. Uh, this refers to the highest rank. There is that one fights in the cause of Allah and dies in the process with his face covered in dust and blood. What happened? Those who go to the battlefield at that time, there were not um, modern, you know, weapons like we have today war weapons and everything and um, this IT and this technology. They used to uh, fight in the uh, in the land. Uh, and then there were the dust and they used to fight on the horses, on the camels. And so there was dust. So it is recorded. This is the hadith in uh, Sahih that oh, a man said to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Oh, messenger of Allah, I was killed in Allah's cause, observing patience, awaiting Allah's reward, attack, attacking, not retreating. Would Allah forgive my sins? The Prophet Sallallahu said to that man who was asking, yes. Allah will forgive your sin. The Prophet then asked the man, what did you ask? When the man repeated the question, again the Prophet said, Naam illa lazina qalahu li Jibreelu anifa. Yes, except for the dead, uh, for Jibreel conveyed this to me right now. So when he says that if I fight in the cause of Allah, if I observe patience, if I wait Allah's reward, uh, and I attack the enemies and I do not retreat them, would Allah will forgive my sins? Allah the Prophet said yes. And immediately, uh, Ajibil alayhi salam, uh, Prophet uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed, the, revealed uh, the, uh, uh, this uh, uh, about the death on Prophet Sassam. Then he said that, yeah, uh, yes, Allah will, you know, um, forgive your sins, but accept the death. So we shouldn't have that because Prophet Sassam, whenever a companion, a Muslim a believer died, Prophet Sassam used to pray the funeral prayer and the one who had the death, Prophet Sassam never prayed that for them. So once the, uh, a dead person came to Prophet Sassam and Prophet Sassam asked the companions that has he, has he taken any debt? Has he got any money to give? Has he owe any money to someone? So people said yes. The Muslim said yes. So Prophet Sassam said, I would never, I would never offer the funeral prayer. So one of the companions said, Oh Prophet Sassam, I will pay his debt. Then Prophet Sassam prayed the funeral prayer. So this is why Allah says, sayyatihim. Verily, I will expiate from them the evil. Anhar. And uh, 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 besides expiating, uh, expiating their uh, the evil deeds and their sins, Allah will admit them into the gardens under which rivers flows and uh, the rivers within paradise where there are rivers of various drinks, rivers of milk, rivers of honey, rivers of wine and fresh water. Everybody knows that wine is not allowed here. Okay. But because here... This what happened when someone drinks wine, he goes, you know, out of sight, out of mind, you know, he forgets everything, he doesn't know what he is doing. So, the wine of uh, Jannah of the paradise will not be the wine like we have in Dunya. So, the we'll, uh, there are rivers of milk, there are rivers of honey, there are rivers of wine, and there are rivers of fresh water. There is what no eye has ever seen, no ear has ever heard. 
and no heart has ever imagined the delights of paradise. So this is the rivaya, this is the hadith, the gist of the hadith is that Jannah, the paradise is such a place that no eye has ever seen, no ear has ever heard and even we cannot imagine in our heart the delights of the paradise and what paradise is, it is impossible for us. We cannot compare the Jannah, the paradise with the, you know, things of dunya. Nobody can even ever imagine what paradise it uh, is and what are the delights of paradise. Okay. Then Allah says uh, further, Sawaban min indillah, a reward from Allah, meaning testifies to his might. Allah is almighty for the mighty and most great only gives tremendous reward. Only be because Allah is mighty, Allah is most great, he can only give us tremendous rewards. Sawaba meaning a reward from Allah. Those who adopt taqwa, those who are Allah conscious, those who do whatever Allah commanded them to do in this dunya and they refrain themselves from what Allah said not to do. All the haram they leave, uh, they leave all the haram and they abide by all the commands which Allah has, you know, commanded us and they uh, uh, do only the halal things. Okay. Even eating, drinking, drinking and all the things. And then Allah says, Wallahu in the husnu tawab, and with Allah is the best of rewards me, for those who, who perform good deeds. So those who for, perform good deeds, so Wallahu in the husnu tawab, with so those who perform good deeds with Allah is the best rewards for them, those who do good deeds. So now 195 we did, we are starting the word to word translation of 100 and 196. Okay, 196 word to word translation, I number 196. Uh, la la should not yugar rannaka. It definitely deceive you. Taqallubu, turning about al of those who finest prize, kafaru, they denied, hid the truth, disbelieved, fi in al-bilad, the lands, countries, uh, the singular of bilad is balad, ba-lam, dal. Now running translation, inshallah, la yugarrannaka taqallub al do not be deceived by the free movement of the unbelievers in this land. So here we see, please mute yourself, mute yourself, sisters, daughters. La yugarannaka taqallubu fil balad. Okay, give me a second. I will mute some sisters, you know, it's difficult for them to mute, so I'll mute everybody. Oh yeah, everybody is muted, mashallah, subhanallah, jazakallah khair. Okay. So here we see, uh, yeah. La yugarannaka taqallub al-ladheena kafuru fil bilad. Anyway, you don't see the screen, please somebody can unmute themselves and tell me because it's a technology, sometimes this technology phase, okay? So let me know if you don't, you are not able to see the screen, okay? Okay. Warning against being deceived by this life, the rewards of the righteous believers. Allah says, La yugarannaka taqallub al-ladheena kafuru fil bilad. Let not the free disposal and affluence of the disbelievers throughout the land deceive you. Allah said, do not look at the disbelievers who are enjoying various delights and joys. Soon they will lose all this and be tied to their evil works. For verily, we are only giving them time which deceives them. Okay. Uh, everybody knows that... Um, they were physically, you know, persecution and, you know, they were very uh, hard, very harsh with the uh, believers. And even, you know, free movement was also difficult for them, uh, for the Muslims. Uh, and, but uh, they were free to move anywhere they like, you know. Uh, and nowadays also it's a fear when somebody has a beard or somebody is in hijab. Or some, some people are, you know, scared when they go for immigration or somewhere. So they are scared, but we shouldn't scare, be scared. We should have trust in Allah. As a Muslim, what we are, we are. Our dress code should be like a Muslim, like we should be in the hijab and the men should be in the beard and everything. 
So we shouldn't, you know, let not the free disposable and influence of the disbelievers throughout the land deceive you. So it shouldn't deceive us, okay? Then we see ayah number 197, inshallah. Thumma, then, what to a translation? Thumma, then, ma'awahum, ma'awa, abode, place of refuge, hum, there, there is a pronoun, ma'awahum, ma the abode, place of refuge, jahannamu, is hell, wabiksa, wa, and biksa, how bad it is, al-mihad, the resting place. So, now the running translation, Mataun Kalilun, their enjoyment is brief. Their ultimate home shall be hell and evil refuge. So here we see Allah Subhanahu Taala says, Mataun Kalilun, Tumma Mawahum Jahannamu Abisal Mihat, a brief enjoyment. Then their ultimate abode is hell, and worst indeed is that place for us. So whatever the people who haven't believed in Allah Subhanahu Taala haven't Followed the message of Prophet uh, and they are enjoying this life. So this enjoyment is for a little time. Very mataun qalil. Qalil means little. Okay. Qalil means a little time. Qalil means very little. So this enjoyment is very little. And uh, in this dunya, they are going to die. A, a person lives 100 years, 110 years, 105 years, no matter. One day he or she has to die. Okay. This uh, we are not here forever, but the Akhra is forever. The When we go to Jannah, we'll be abide there forever. It's eternal abode, right? So, uh, so and for the those who don't believe, for the disbelievers, the eternal abode is hellfire, where they will be burning for, for forever. So this dunya is a brief enjoyment, then the ultimate abode is hell. And worse in these it is that place for rest. So what we see, if we follow, uh, if we pass off our life according to Quran and Sunnah, what happens? We, uh, you know, when we are, we have started covering our heads, we cover our heads, we do hijab, people say, you know, she doesn't look like, she doesn't look nice. Oh, see me, I have got, you know, I've, you know, dyed my hair and have some style. You know, I went to the beauty parlor and to the hairdresser. And see what a style! What I'm looking so nice. This, that. You know, and some people have got fear. If I, you know, cover my head, I, you know, take hijab, people won't like me. My husband won't take me to the parties, and you know, I will. People will think I'm a backward person. And you know, it's the same is with men. You know, with the boys when they may keep the beard. People say, oh, you're not looking nice. Their friends, you know, their families, if they are not on Deen, what you are doing, you're not looking nice. You're such a young boy. And now you have kept a beard. You are looking an old man. The same thing is told to the, you know, girls also. You're looking an old lady covering the, the hijab, doing this, doing that. So we, the one who obeys Allah, they have to do sabr. They have to have patience, right? In this dunya, right? And... Um, uh, uh, though these people who follow Quran and Sunnah, they pass their life according to the Quran and Sunnah, they will have the uh, Jannah, the paradise, where underneath the rivers will flow and many, many, you know, uh, blessings are there in the Jannah, whatever fruit, whatever, you know, flesh of, uh, you know, birds we would like to eat, whatever we want, will we'll, uh, the people who are, those who will enter in Jannah, will have a lot of enjoyment. But the enjoyment of these people, those who don't believe in Allah, is just a, a little, qaleel, little. So brief enjoyment, a brief enjoyment, and the ultimate abode is hell. And worse indeed is that place for rest. So the similar ayah, Prophet Allah SWT says, chapter 40, ayah 4, none disputes in the ayat of Allah, but those who disbelieve. So let not the ability of going about here and there through the land deceive you. Uh, verily those who invent a lie against Allah will never be successful a brief enjoyment in this world and then unto us will be their return then we will we shall make them taste the severest torment severest torment because they used to disbelieve then Allah says we'll let them enjoy for a little while then in the end we shall oblige them to enter a great torment 
So give a respite to the disbelievers. Deal gently with them for a while. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turning to Prophet Sassam. Give them a respite. Give the respite to disbelievers. Deal gently with them for a while. And then another ayah, chapter 20, 61, Allah says, Is he whom we have promised an excellent promise, paradise, which we will find true like him whom we have made to enjoy the luxuries of the life of this world. Then on the day of resurrection, he will be among those brought up to be punished in the hellfire. They disobey Allah. They enjoy the luxuries of the life. And on the day of resurrection, they will be brought and they will into the hellfire and they will be punished. After Allah mentioned the condition of the disbelievers in this life and their destination to the fire, he said the next ayah, Next ayah Allah says, now in the next ayah Allah says, uh, uh, ayah number 198, Lakin, but Alladina, dozu, Alladina, singular is Alladi, at taqaw, they safeguard themselves, adopted taqwa, consciousness of Allah, Rabbahum, Rabb, Rabb, whom they, Rabbahum, their Rabb, sustainer. Lahum are for them Jannatun, gardens, paradise, uh, pl plural of Jannatun, Tajri, it she flows, min from Tahteha, tah, Tahat underneath, Ha, it her, Tahteha underneath, it her, Alanharu, the rivers, Khalidina, as ones who abide eternally, Fiha in it, Nuzulan, hospitality, entertainment, min from in the near with Allahi of Allah, Vama, Wa, and Ma, whatever in the is near with Allahi of Allah, Khairun is best, Lil Abrar for the righteous ones, the complete faith. Let's see the running translation. La kinil lazin attaqo rabbahum, lam jannatun, as for those who fear their rub, there shall be gardens beneath which rivers flow. They will live therein forever. This will be, be their welcome from Allah. And what Allah possesses is the best for righteous people. So here we see Allah SWT says, La kinil lazina taqa rabbahum lam jannatun tajri min taati al-anharu khalidina fiya nuzalam in indillahi fama indallahi But for those who have taqwa, la kinil lazina taqa rabbahum but for those who have taqwa of their Lord, what, what, what reward is for them? Lahum jannatun tajri min taati al anharu. For them are the gardens under which rivers flow in paradise. And the, uh, the rivers will be of milk, of honey, uh, of uh, clear water. So, and these rivers will be in the control of the people of paradise. They will be able to move to right, to left, to up, down. And now here, nothing is in our control, right? And there, big, big rivers will be the, in the control of the people of Jannah. And they, they will live there forever. Khalidina fiha. Therein, uh, they will live there forever. Nuzalam uh, in lahi, wama in the lai. And uh, therein are they to dwell and enter, entertainment for them for certainly. Wama in the lai khairul lil abrar, and that which is with Allah is the best for al abrar, for the righteous one. Ibn Jari recorded that Abu Darda used to say, What Abu Darda, this is the hadith, that is better for every believer, that is better for every disbeliever, and those who do not believe me should read Allah's statements. Wama in the lai khairul lil abrar. And that which is with Allah is the best for Al Abrar. And then there's an ayah, uh, chapter 3, 178. And let not the disbelievers think that our postponing of their punishment is good for them. And when, you know, when they do uh, bad deeds and the torment of Allah doesn't come, Allah doesn't punish them to, so the disbeliever, so Allah says, and let not the disbeliever think that a postponing of punishment is good for them, it's not good for them. 
we postpone the punishment only so that they may increase in sinfulness and for them is a dis disgraceful torment and when you know punishment is also postponed they don't they never learn a lesson that we are doing wrong they don't learn a lesson then we'll do ayah number uh, 199 inshallah wa inna wa and inna indeed mean from ali people al kitabi of the book laman la surely man who laman are surely who you mean who he believes billahi in with allah wa ma wa and ma whatever unzila it was sent down reveal ilaikum ila to kum you all ilaikum to you all wa and ma what unzila it was sent down reveal ilaihim to them khashina as one who are humble humbling lillahi li for allah allah to for allah la yashtaruna do not yashtaruna they barter they sell by bi ayati be with ayati ayati is the plural of ayatun uh, ayati reveal verses ayat bi ayati with reveal verses ayat allah allahi of allah thamanan a price qalilan very little ulaika those lahum la for whom them lahum are for them ajruhum their wage, wage reward in the near with rabbihim rab rab him their rabbihim their rab their sustainer inna indeed allah allah sariu is most swift quick al hisab the reckoning account taking running translation of ayah 199 mm -hmm. only one ayah left to finish uh, al imran mashallah wa inna min ahli al kitab la may yuminu billah there are some among the people of the book who truly believe in allah and what has been revealed to you o muhammad sallam and what has been revealed to them before you they humble themselves before allah and do not sell the revelations of allah for a petty price for them there will be a reward for their from their rab surely allah is very swift in settling all accounts <coughs> so here we see in this aya the condition of some of the people of the scriptures and their rewards so three types of people uh, where you know uh, allah told us about three types of types of people in this aya uh, about the believers then about the uh, non believers and now these ayas are about the people of the book they accept few of them accepted islam the jews and the christian and abdul abdullah bin salam was the scholar of the jews and he also he just asked three questions from prophet sallam because he knew that only a prophet knows the answers of the few questions so he asked only three questions and and prophet sallam answered those questions and he believed in prophet sallam abdullah bin salam so few of them believed okay uh, the condition of some of the people of the scriptures and their rewards allah says wa inna min ahli al kitab liman yu'minu billahi and there are certainly among the people of the scriptures jews jews and the christians those who believe in allah wa ma unzila ilaykum wa ma unzila ilayhim khashina lillahi and in that which has been revealed to you o muhammad sallam and in that which has been revealed to them humbling themselves before allah khashina lillah they humble themselves before allah a few of the jews and the christian الذين اتيناهم الكتاب من قبل هم به يؤمنون واذا يتلى عليهم قالوا امنا به انه الحق من ربنا ان كنا من قبل مسلمين اولئك يؤتون اجرهم مرتين بما صبروا those to whom we gave the scripture before it they believe in it before quran jews and the christians they, they were given scriptures also okay everybody knows Uh, Musa alayhi salam came. Isa alayhi salam came. There were many prophets before Prophet alayhi salam, and uh, they were given books also: Torah, Zubur, Pazam, Injil. So those to whom we gave the scriptures before it, they believe in it. They believe in their uh, book also, and they believe in the Quran. And when it was recited to them, they say, "We believe in it verily. It is the truth from our Lord. Indeed, even before it, we were Muslim, because every prophet." brought the religion islam right and those who believe in their prophets they were muslims of their times right those who believe in isa alaihi salam those who believe in musa alaihi salam so they were 
the Muslims of their time, okay? Uh, and because they believe in their prophets and the books, Torah, Zubur, Injil, whatever books reveal to their prophets. These, so these people will be given their reward twice over because they are patient. So those who are the people of uh, scriptures, those who are the people of book, like Jews or Christian, they believe in their prophets before and they believe in the books also uh, and they believe in uh, the books or the, which were revealed on their prophet and uh, because everything is me is mentioned in the, was mentioned in the book uh, the sign of prophetism that the prophet will come and these and the signs were also show, shown uh, which is why they migrated to Medina the Jews because it was in their book that the last prophet will come uh, there's a place where there are date palm trees so they thought because in Medina they were the date palm trees so they migrated there because everything was in their books so they believe few of them not all few of them believes in their book also in their prophet and the signs they saw which were mentioned in their book so they believe when prophetism came they believe in prophetism so these people will be given their reward twice over because they are patient so now also in today in today's era also if people of scriptures uh, christian jews or any 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 uh, you know religion if they believe they become muslim they revert they become muslim so they will get they say la ilaha illallah they go to any masjid and they say to the imam that i want to embrace islam and they embrace islam so allah will reward them twice subhanallah because they are leaving their religion, because Allah says that prophethood is sealed on Prophet Sallallahu No prophet is going to come. And once Abu Bakr Siddiq Radiallahu Anhu, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saw that he was coming to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he was reading Torah. So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Oh Abu Bakr Radiallahu Anhu, if Musa Alaihi Wasallam, because Torah was revealed on Musa Alaihi Wasallam, right? If Musa Alaihi Wasallam would have been today in my era, in Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam era, he would also, we would have also believed in Quran. So Quran is also the last book. So we have to believe in Quran. Yeah, we believe that Torah, Zubur, Injil, Pazam, Sufi, Ibrahim, Ava, Musa, everything was revealed. We are the book. We, we have we believe in that. Amantu billahi wa malaikati wa kutubi wa rasuli wa liyamil akhri wa qadri khairi wa shari min allahi ta'ala wa albasi bad al -maut. We believe in the books. We believe in Allah. We believe in all the messengers. We believe in all the books. Uh, everything we believe. But we have to follow Quran. Okay? Because those books are not in their real shape. We don't find them. And if there are books also, Bible, or there are changes. Okay? Quran is the book that uh, it will not be changed till the day of resurrection, till the last day of this dunya. So we have to uh, follow the Quran and Sunnah. And, but we say that, yeah, we know, because Allah said, Allah has revealed the book. So we believe in the books, that, but we are not following those books. And then Allah says, الَّذِينَ آتَيْنَاهُمُ الْكِتَابَ يَتْلُونَهُ حَقَّ تِلَاوَتِي أُولَائِكَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِي those to whom we have given, gave, we, those to whom we gave the book, recite it, follow it, only not recitation. What we have to do, only not recitation, we have to follow it also, as it should be recited. Uh, and we should do, we should recite, Hakka tilawatihi. We should pay its due. Like, you know, our tilawa should be according to the tajweed. Uh, we should, you know, do the tafsir also. We should, we should ponder, we should reflect. And uh, we should uh, uh, abide by the rules, whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to do, the commands we should obey and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said not to do, we should refrain from that. We should, you know, be particular about haram and halal, eating, drinking, everything, wearing. So they should be recited, it should be followed. So they are the ones who believe therein. So they are the one who believes in therein. Okay. Then we see. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, in uh, chapter 7, uh, okay, then we see, uh, one second, one second, okay, uh, and then Allah says uh, that, uh, Allah says that some of the people of the book truly believe in him and in what was sent down to them, 
sent down to Muhammad Sassam along with believing in the previously revealed books and they are obedient to him and humble themselves before Allah. La yashtaruna bi ayatillahi thamanan khalila. They do not sell the verses of Allah for a small price for they do not hide what they know of the glad tidings about the descriptions of Muhammad Sassam because it was in their book that a prophet is going to, to come. The description of Prophet Sassam was there in their book his prophethood and the description of his ummah. Even the description of the ummah of Prophet was given. Our description also was given. Indeed, these are the best people among the people of the book. Who are the best people among the people of the book? The Muslims, whether they were Jews or Christians, because they follow uh, Prophet and they saw Prophet as a prophet, they uh, followed, they believe in Allah and Prophet Okay, then we see uh, in uh, Surah al Qasas, those whom we give the scripture before they believe in the Quran, and when it was recited, recited to them, they say, We believe in it, verily, it is the truth from our Lord. Indeed, even before it we were Muslim, they will be given their reward twice over because they are patient. Allazina Atayna Humul Kitaba, those to whom we gave the book, recite it, follow it as it should be recited, that is, followed. They are the ones who believe therein. And then, uh, and the people of Musa, there is a community who lead with truth and establish justice therein. Wamin qom in Musa ummatun yaduna bilhaq wa bihi yadilun. Laisu sawam in alil kitabi ummatun qaimatun yatluna ayatilahi ana laili vam yazudun. Not all of them are alike. A party of the people of the scripture stand for the right. They recite the verses of Allah during the hours of the night, prostrating themselves in prayer. It's chapter 313. Then Allah says, um, Say, believe in the Quran or do not believe in it. Verily, those who were given knowledge before it, when it is recited to them, fall down on their faces in humble prostration, and they say, Glory be to our Lord. Truly, the promise of our Lord must be fulfilled. And they fall down and their face is weeping and it increases their humility. So this is the case with us also. When the Quran is recited or we recite to Quran, we should fall, you know, we should fall down uh, in prostration. We should be humble and we should, uh, you know, say uh, we should praise Allah, subhanallah, glory be to Allah. And uh, we should uh, weep also. And this, these ayahs should increase our iman and increase our humility. You know, the true Muslims are like this. When the Quran is recited, they become like this. These qualities exist in some of the Jews also, but only a few of them, for instance, less than 10 Jewish rabbi, rabbis embraced the Islamic faith at the time of Prophet such as, such as Abdullah bin Salam. And Abdullah bin Salam was the scholar of Jews. Many among the Christians, on the other hand, embraced the Islamic faith. So there were very few who embraced Islam, okay, among the Christians and the Jews. Then Allah says, La tajidanna ashad dan nasi adawata lilazina amanul yahuda, walazina ashtaku, wala tajidanna akrabahum mawadata lilazina amanul lazina, kalu inna nasara. Verily, you will find amongst, uh, you will find the strongest among men in enmity to the believers, the Jews. So Jews are the strongest in enmity with the Muslim and those who commit shirk and those who associate partners with Allah SWT, they also are the enemy. And you will find the nearest in love to the believers, those who say we are Christians. <clears throat> bimakalu jannatin tajri min naru fiha. So because of what they said, Allah rewarded them gardens under which the rivers flow in paradise because they said we believe in Allah, right? So this is the reward, <clears throat> those who believe in Allah. Allah rewarded them the gardens under which rivers flow in paradise. They will abide therein forever. And Allah said, Allah said, Ulaika lahum ajruhum in the Rabbim. For them is the reward with their Lord. Uh, and then there's a hadith that when Jafar bin Abi Talib <coughs> recited Surah Maryam to an Najashi king of Ethiopia, okay? Jafar bin Abi Talib was once with a few of the people 
he was in uh, Ethiopia and Jafar bin Abi Talib was the companion of Prophet Sassam. So he went to the um, uh, king <clears throat> and he recited the um, Surah Maryam, the, the king of Ethiopia, his name was Najashi. In the presence of Christian priests and uh, patriarchs, he, he and they recried until their beards became wet from crying. So when they heard Surah Maryam by the tongue of Jafar bin Abi Talib, so the king, Najashi, the king of Ethiopia and the Christians, priest who were present there, they cried on the, the surah when they heard Surat Maryam. Their beards become wet from crying. Because in Surat Maryam, everybody knows Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed that how Isa alayhi salam was born. born. So they believe in Maryam, uh, Hazrat Maryam and Isa alayhi salam. So it was also in their book. So they uh, started crying uh, uh, so much that the beards become wet. So we see in uh, Sahih Muslim and Bukhari, when an Najashi died, the Prophet Sassam conveyed the news of his companions and said, Inna akha lakakum bil habashi kadmata fasallu alay. What he said? Inna akha lakum bil habashati kadmata fasallu alay. A brother of yours from Ethiopia has passed, ka, come to offer the funeral prayer. prayer. He went out with the companions to the Musalla. Musalla lined, up, lined them up in rows and after that led the press. So now we came to know that we can... So Prophet Sallam was not in Ethiopia. Prophet Sallam was in Medina. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed not in the Quran. Prophet, Prophet Sallam used to get two types of revelation, Quran and Hadith. Okay? Quran is matlu and Hadith is called Ghair matlu revelation. Right? So Prophet Sassam, uh, uh, Allah SWT revealed, so Prophet Sassam came to know that Najashi died because Najashi and uh, embraced Islam at the time when Abu, uh, Jafir bin Abu Talib was there in Ethiopia and uh, Jafir bin Abu Talib recited Surah Maryam. At that time, he embraced Islam, which is why Prophet Sassam told to the companions that your brother why, brother? Because Muslims are akhwan, brothers, right? So, and Muslim sister, Muslim uh, women are sisters, right? So, Baba Sassam said, your brother from Ethiopia is passed. Come to offer the funeral prayer. So, we can offer the prayers of a dead person in another country also when we come to know, right? How? Because we learn from this hadith that Prophet Sassam was in Medina and Prophet Sassam came to know from Allah that the king of Ethiopia, Najashi, has died. He was a Muslim. So, Prophet Sassam offered his funeral prayer. And funeral prayer for, must have been offered in Ethiopia also. So, Prophet Sassam went out with the companions to the Musalla, lined them up in rows, and after that, led the prayer. So, whenever, uh, somewhere, if the uh, funeral prayer is offered and that person died in another country, you can take a screenshot of this uh, hadith it is in both the books, Sahih Bukhari and Sahih uh, Muslim also. So Ibn Abi Naji narrated that Mujahid said that in Amin Ahlil Kitabi and they are there are certainly among the people of the scripture, scripture, it refers to those among them who embrace Islam. In Amin Ahlil Kitabi refers to what? Whom? Those who among them from the Jews and the Christian who embrace Islam. And then there is another hadith. Uh, Abad bin Mansur said that he asked uh, Al-Hasan al-Basri about Allah's statement, kitabi lima billah, and there are certainly among the people of the scriptures, those who believe in Allah, Al-Hasan said, they are the people of the book before Muhammad sallallahu was sent who believe in Muhammad Islam and recognize Islam, Allah gave them a double reward for the faith they, that they had before Muhammad Islam and for believing in Muhammad Islam after he was sent as Prophet. So they have got double reward because they uh, they believe in the faith before Prophet Islam. Okay? Whoever they were, Jews or Christian, they believe in Torah, Zubur, Injil, and any book. So they believe in that also. And when Allah sent Prophet Islam, they believe in Prophet Islam also. So uh, what happened? Allah gave them the Dibar Dibar. They left th that religion, those books, because uh, it was in their book that they have to believe 
in Prophet Sallam in the last messenger when he comes and they then they have to leave Torah, Zubur, Injil, everything because Prophet Sallam is the sealed of all the prophets and Quran is the last book and it will never be changed until the day of resurrection. Inna lahu lahafizun. Allah SWT say, says that we will keep it safe. We will, it will not change. And Ibn Abdi Hatim recorded both of these uh, statements in the two Sahis, Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari. Okay. Then Prophet Sassam said, three persons, Salah Satun Yutuna Ajrahum Maratain. Three persons will acquire a double reward. Who are they? He mentioned among them, Varajulum in Ahli Kitabi, Amana bi Nabiyatun wa Amana bi. A person from among the people of the book, Jews and Christians who believe in his prophet and in me. Those who believe in, uh, in me. In me means Prophet Sassam telling that those who believe, um, a person from among the people of the who believe in their prophet and believe in me. Allah's statement, La yashtaruna bi ayatillahi samanan qalila. They do not sell the verses of Allah for a small, small price, meaning they do not hide the knowledge that they have in their book as a curse once among them have done because they hid the knowledge, the description of Muhammad Sassam, the description of the last Ummah that he will come and we have to leave all the books, all the religion and we have to believe in Prophet Sassam because he is the seal, seal on, the, on the Prophet. So they are the cursed ones because they hid it. And those who didn't hid it, uh, they will be given the double reward. Rather, they share the knowledge without a price. And this is why Allah says so. They share the knowledge without a price. And those who hid, so Allah says they do not sell the verse. Uh, those who hid, uh, they are the cursed one. And those who didn't hid, they do not sell the verses of Allah for a small price. Ulai kalom ajrum in the rabbim, in Allah sariul hisab. Those who didn't hid the knowledge, the description of Prophet Sassam, the description of the Ummah and the place where Prophet Sassam come. There wasn't the name Medina, but they, uh, but it was said that there will be uh, Nakhla, Nakhlatun, the trees of, uh, date trees, date palm trees. So they migrated there. Ulaika lam ajrum in the Rabbihim in Allah sariul hisab. For them is a reward with their Lord. Surely Allah is swift in account. Allah is fast in account, taking account. Okay. So we should also not hide whatever we learn here. We should pass. We should pass. We should pass. We should, sh we should share. Uh, we should share the knowledge. We should pass the knowledge. We shouldn't, you know, hide. See, we learned from, uh, from this ayah that the Jews and Christian who believe in their prophet also and they believe in uh, uh, Prophet Sallallahu also and La Yashtaruna Bi Ayatullah Samanan, they did not sell the verses of Allah for a small, a small price, meaning they did not hide the knowledge and they uh, uh, reveal, uh, they, you know, pass all the things which were in their books about Prophet. So Allah will give, there's a reward for them. And those who hid all that, those things and they didn't believe, they are the cursed ones. So we should pass the knowledge, even we should tell the people, come to this halaka. We do halka every uh, we do halka every uh, uh, Saturdays, right? We do halka also every Saturday. So you call people to it, and you'll get the reward because we learn from this ayah that we shouldn't. And even we are not feel, uh, you know following anything hijab or you know anything. So we shouldn't hide these ayahs. We should convey these ayahs, right? These ayahs to uh, the people. So call people to this halqa more and more. You'll get the reward. We are learning from the, through the ayahs and hadith also. So only one ayah left to finish uh, this surah. So next time, uh, you know, invite more and more sisters, your aunties, your cousins, because it will be the takmil. We'll be completing the takmil of uh, surah al-Imran and we'll making dua also because we were not able to do this. Only by the tawfiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we are able to complete it. We were not able to do that except the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So inshallah, invite more and more sisters, your aunties, your cousins, your neighbors, your friends. Okay? So everybody would be, you know, making the dua with us. And if one of us, uh, you know, Amin, you know, uh, is, you know, tally with the Amin of uh, angels, the duas are accepted. Everybody knows that, right? 
So we will complete here. I would love to take your reflections, inshallah. So we'll do dua also next time, inshallah. Only one eye left and dua also. So, Subhana Rabbi Karabil Izzati Amma Yasifoon. Wassalamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna kanta samiul alim. Wa tub alayna inna kanta tawabu rahim. Wa akhiru dawana an alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Subhana kallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Now I would love to take your reflections. Okay, Bismillah. Start, please. Okay.